Judge White has completed his placings in the Melking Shorthorn Senior Three-Year-Old, excuse me, Junior Three-Year-Old class. Would the junior exhibitors please take a step forward? In second is Landsbrook Champagne EXPET, shown by Monica Landsgard of Landsbrook Farms, St. Olaf, Iowa. The first place junior is Pine Valley Logic Zany, shown by Jessica James of Mineral Point, Wisconsin. The production winner in the class is Purple Fever Court Lucinda E.T., shown by Crimson Fever Cattle of Austin, Minnesota. At two years and two months of age, 283 days, she produced 20,075 pounds of milk, 3.6% fat, 720 pounds of fat, 2.8% protein, with 570 pounds of protein. In third place, is Misha W.O. Mocha Abbey, shown by Katie Bue of Alma Center, Wisconsin. Second place to Easterbrook Bombay Dominique, shown by Easterbrook of Juneau, Wisconsin. And the winning entry is also best udder in the class and best bred and owned, Halpin's Ruth Ann, shown by Halpin Farms, Kempton, Illinois. Judge White, your comments, please. Well, again, a really nice class of junior three-year-olds, and I think we have a cow that wins this class pretty handily to me. Uh, she's easily the best uttered cow in this first group, and uh, it's with her balance, her style, or uh, out on the parade. And the advantage she does have in her mammary system, it puts her over this second cow that's just been fresh about 10 days. I'd like to see this second cow just a bit fuller in that four udder, maybe uh, this left side not quite as smooth as I'd like to see, but a cow that does have a world of balance. And I thought she and the third cow went together very nicely. A pair of cows that could just be cleaned up a little bit. They don't have quite the balance and the style we have in our first cow. But today I thought the second cow just fresh 10 days. Big, strong, powerful cow. She's got an advantage being a little deeper in the fore rib, has more spring to the rib, maybe a little more depth to the rear rib, and a little more nicely balanced in the rear rather than the cow in third. Third cow over to the big speckled cow coming out here in fourth. This uh, fourth cow, just a big framey cow, got a nice udder, just like to level that udder out on the floor just a bit. Like to see her handle her rear legs just a bit nicer to, to even uh, consider up any higher in class. But I thought with the advantage she did having the smoothness and snugness of her four udder, she had to go over in the size and scale, she had to go over this cow coming out in fifth. It's just a bit pinless in the udder. She got a nice balance to the rear udder, but just does not have the smoothness and the snugness of the four udder attachment to get her up any higher in the class with the advantage she did have in the capacity of she went over the young lady's uh, really nice dairy cow here coming out in sixth. 